Now Rabbit had a favorite place on the river where he always went to drink water. It was on a bend in the river, and two snakes lived there, one on the upper side of the bend and one on the lower. Rabbit soon learned that neither of the snakes knew that the other snake lived there. Ho, 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 thought Rabbit. I am going to have a bit of fun. Rabbit went to the snake that lived on the upper bend of the river. I am a very strong rabbit he told the snake. I bet I can pull you right out of the water. I bet you can't, said the snake, who was very strong indeed. I will go get a grapevine said rabbit. You will pull one end and I will pull the other. If I pull you out of the water, I win the contest. If you pull me into the water, then I win. The snake on the upper bend agreed. Then Rabbit went to the snake on the lower bend and made the same deal. He told both snakes that he would be standing out of sight on top of the river bank and would give a whoop when he was in place and ready to start the contest. Both snakes were pleased with the arrangement. They were sure they would win against such a feeble little rabbit. Rabbit took a long grapevine and strung it across the wide bend in the river. He handed one end to the first snake and the other end to the second snake. Then he gave a loud whoop from the middle of the river bank and the two snakes started tugging and pulling with all their might. That rabbit is really strong thought the snake on the upper bank. He would tug and tug and the vine would come a little closer to him and then he would nearly be pulled out of the water. My, rabbit is much stronger than he appears thought the snake on the lower bank after he was almost hurled out of the water by an extra strong pull from up the river. Rabbit sat on the bank above both snakes and laughed and laughed. The snakes heard him laughing and realized that they had been fooled. Letting go of the rope, they swam to the middle of the bend and met each other for the first time. Both snakes were angry with Rabbit for making them look foolish. They agreed that Rabbit could no longer drink from his favorite place on the river bend where they lived. In spite of his protests, they sent Rabbit away and would not let him come down to the river bank anymore. So whenever Rabbit grew thirsty, he had to turn himself into a fawn in order to get a drink from the river. After that, Rabbit decided not to play any more jokes on snakes.